She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad to feature. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper. Once you get to meet her, you see her. What's good, Gemini Two Sides? It's yo girl. She and Nicole, what's up? What's good? How's everyone feeling? How's everyone, you know, just how are you today i'm so excited we are back with another story time okay um a lot of you guys have enjoyed my story times in the past and you know from my story times i believe you know you're supposed to learn something out of it it's supposed to be a lesson that you take away from it something that you've experienced or something similar you've experienced that you know you never want to go through again or something that you've learned from so we are here at another story time now there isn't a real big lesson behind this besides treat others how you want to be treated and if you don't expect to be treated whatever um ill manner that you are treating someone you can receive the same thing I'm not saying it's good to always you know hit below the belt just as they are hitting below the belt but at the same time if someone is testing you or pushing your buttons and you're the nice one in the situation it is i feel like it's decent to you know kind of just strike back and let them know hey don't mess with me or hey this isn't something you could do with me or this isn't something you could get away with and keep doing it you know you can't I'm not a pushover. You can't push over on me and think you can only do what you want to do to me and not expect anything in return. So keep that in mind as I tell the story. All right, y'all stay with me. Stay with me. Okay. And I know I am looking a little rough this morning. I just woke up not too long ago, handled some business and I feel like doing a story time and you know, we're here. So we're going to do a story time before I get my day started. So, this story dates back to when I was in college. It was my senior year, and I had this roommate. We were originally friends, but as time went on, we did not, we weren't friends anymore. Um, however, we were still staying in the same dorm, and, um... It was one time like we because we were not speaking or there wasn't any good communication there um and it was in the beginning stages of that i should add that in um where our friendship fell off so the not talking it was awkward but it, at the same time it was just it is what it is like i don't have anything to say to you you obviously don't have anything to say to me so you know we're both on our sides of the room and everything's good it was one day i had so many assignments a lot of homework to do you know and i also had to wake up early in the morning and go to my class so i you know i was at the library studying and you know being diligent you know period and I come back to my room, my roommate's in there, you know, minding her business, on the phone, playing music, whatever. I didn't think anything of it, right? Time goes on, hours go on, and she's still loudly playing her music. And it's not relaxing, soothing, Janae Iko, you know, Jasmine Sullivan, you know, it is some deep rap, hard music, okay? And it's just like, da -da 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 -da, you know, just a lot. Very, um, very fast paced and upbeat for it to be late at night. And you know, when people, students are trying to wind down, you know, we're trying to go to sleep because we have class the next day she did not okay she was ready to get out of town the next day because her class schedule was 
you know, it was different. She had a lot more freedom at the time. So, of course, she's not thinking anything of it or it's not bothering her because she doesn't have to get up early. However, like I said, we were once friends and then we slowly became not friends. So she knew, she knew my schedule. It didn't change from the time we were friends and not friends, same classes, everything. So you know my schedule, you know I have class in the morning. Why are you playing this loud music out of nowhere? It's not like she went, I mean, my bad. It's not like she, you know, consistently did it. This was a very random, bold time for her to do such things. And now I'm in bed. I'm, you know, getting under the covers. I done wrapped up my hair. It was, you knew I was going to sleep. You knew it. I'm under the covers, still listening to her loud ass music. She did not care at all. She didn't even try to turn it down. And this was going well into one, two, three in the morning. Now, I could have said something. I could have. But the way my anger and the way my mindset was going at the time, I didn't say anything. Because I was like, if I say something when I know it's already awkward and weird and tension and stuff, and I know you're purposely doing this because you've never done that a day in your life and you know your music is loud and you know it's late. Like, you know, just common sense type of things that, you know, she's never done before. Just pushing boundaries, you know? I really did feel like in that moment, she really wanted me to say something. She wanted me to bend to her power. She was doing that on purpose so I could cave in and say something to her. But stubborn old little me, you know, I would even say petty at the time. Um, a graceful petty though. I wasn't, you know, like, you know, just out there with it. But no, so I, decided you know what she's gonna play her music all night long whatever I don't even know what time she turned it off but I know after it hit that two o'clock mark I said oh I got something I got something for you hunty okay just wake up in the morning and we're gonna have a nice little gift for you so like I said she's still playing her music very loudly in our room well into the early morning and I finally, finally was able to go to sleep. And I remember I was texting people and I was like, you know, basically complaining to my um, other friends. I'm like, yo, like she's really doing this on purpose. And it's just like, cause you've never done this before. So you have to be doing it on purpose. You know, it's like you've complained about other people playing their music super late. So it's just like, you're definitely doing this on purpose to get some type of reaction out of me. But the way I'm set up, my reaction is not going to be what you think. My reaction is going to be outside the box, okay? Something that's really going to throw you off. So, <laughs> hear me out, you guys. So I finally go to sleep, right? Go to sleep, get maybe a good three, four hours of sleep in. My alarm goes off in the morning, super early, ready for class. My phone charger is always by my bed, okay? I always go to sleep, put on my, um, put my phone on the charger, and that's just that. So my phone was in reaching distance when my alarm went off, right? I definitely, you know, turned off my alarm. But what I did do, which was different for me, called me Miss Petty, Petty Nicole, okay? In that moment, I've grown since then, okay? I don't hold it against me now, this is, some years ago um but yeah so I turned off my alarm and I turned on my music early in the morning right there on the charger her bed was on the other side and my closet was like we had a long room so even though our beds were like over here the closet area and the bathroom was all the way up there so it was a long distance you know in between where I could have taken my phone which I normally do or normally did um to my closet area because we had a little vanity set and all that over there so um yes I could have taken my phone over there 
However, since she was acting different that night, I decided to act different that morning. So she wants to play music late at night. I was like, well, I'm gonna play my music early in the morning. I'm gonna wake you up, yes. And it's gonna be loud, just like your music was loud. Yeah, we're gonna wake up together, yes. So, <laughs> definitely put my music on blast, honey. And it wasn't no relaxing, soft, soothing type of music, even though my music is very interchangeable. So it, it will go from, you know, something soothing to something crazy to shake your ass, to calm back down to, you know, it's, it's a little everywhere, but I love it because it's a vibe, if you get the vibe. Um, but yeah, so it was like that type of music just everywhere, but loud um by her bed and she started you know moving and you know tossing and turning in her bed and everything and i'm just like mm -hmm, that's right that's right that's right man wake that ass up <laughs> um and so she got annoyed which is so funny to me so instead of saying something to me um like i didn't say anything to her that night she decided to jump up irritated and annoyed she started throwing her stuff in her bag. It was out the door. <laughs> and I don't mean to laugh. It's just because I've witnessed it and I've experienced it. So the images are in my head. And I I really thought she was going to wake up and say something or complain or, you know, say something petty because that was her type of behavior. But instead, she just packed her stuff and was out like oh my god it was the funniest thing to me i was like <laughs> did i run her away oops <laughs> oh god but yeah no it was so funny to me because i was just like even though i was thinking like you know i'm gonna do something outside the box where she's not gonna think of that's gonna be her immediate response her immediate response was not what I was thinking of, but it just worked out in my favor because she ended up leaving the room and I had the room to myself. So, I mean, I was happy. I was good. I was Gucci, you know? It was just so hilarious, but it was definitely a petty moment. Um, you know, having a roommate um, in that little awkward time, but I just, I wanted to share that story because like I said, there the real takeaway from this is do not treat others badly if you don't want to get treated badly you know like I would never in my life you know purposely outside of that situation play music while I know my roommate is sleeping I'm not the type to play you know not even just play music blast music in someone's ear basically I'm not the type of person to do that if I do play my music in the morning you know I keep it at a good level especially if someone is sleeping i don't like to interrupt anyone else's sleep because i don't like to be interrupted when i'm sleeping i get irritated and i get annoyed so i really try my best not to disturb someone else you know we don't like to put that energy out there because it's definitely going to be reciprocated back and that's not what we want so yeah i just try to be as mindful and as respectful as possible but in that particular situation you know when someone's trying you you know when someone's pushing your buttons trying to get some type of reaction out of you especially because we were no longer friends and it was still in that awkward you know very intense tension type of phase so definitely i knew it was on purpose and i knew it was intentional and so i reacted intentionally as well but like i said that's not within my normal everyday character because that's not what I do, but you do have to kind of strike back as someone who thinks that they can get away with certain things or they think, you know, you're not going to say something about it. It's just not even say anything about it. I just reacted and that was my response. So anyways, if you guys thought that was funny, go ahead and like this video for me. I'm going to keep it nice, sweet and short and I hope you guys have a lovely day. The Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her